Gonna talk today about subsonic and supersonic out of my Form 1 uh, suppressor. It is an inch and a half diameter, six inches long. Hand machined baffles in this, so it's not your oil filter or your uh, whatever the hell they call it that you can get online. So this, all of this is custom made. The tube was threaded, the end caps were machined and threaded, and then the baffles were turned on a South Bend lathe. <clears throat> What we're going to do today is look at three different types of ammo. We're going to look at, uh, I believe it's just Remington Supersonics, uh, CCI Supersonics, and then some CCI um, subsonic rounds. We're going to be shooting it today out of our Chiapa Little Badger. Um, great little single shot rifle. Um, I've added a red dot to it. And then also it has a light that I use um, for raccoons at night. Um, works real well, came pre-threaded, added the pistol grip, and then did the paracord on the stock, which also has a little pouch that holds a nice Altoid tin for extra ammo. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. I've got a decibel meter that it's going to work good enough. It's not going to be anything special, but it'll work good enough. Uh, we're going to start with the Remington supersonics we're going to turn this on i'm going to put the muzzle close to the iphone uh, and that's kind of going to be our baseline for the readings so we're going to start with all three not suppressed and then do all three with the suppressor so we'll try to document here so this is the remington supersonic our target is 70 yards away uh, just for reference here we go. Eighty-four decibels for the supersonic round for the Remington. Now, if we switch to the CCI, ninety-four. And then let's go to the subsonic CCI. Eighty one. So now we're going to thread the suppressor on. All right, we got it threaded on. So we're gonna go same order. We'll do the Remington supersonic first. Eighty-seven. That's actually that sounds like it kind of went up. We we'll do the CCI. 89 and then if we do the CCI subsonic 65 so that's kind of our uh, little test the although the decibel meter kind of I don't know that it, it might have been catching the supersonics as they broke the sound barrier downrange. Um, the actual perceived audio or the sound that you heard here was far quieter with the suppressor on on the supersonics. Um, it looks like on the Remington, I think it went from like 85 to 86. But again, that bullet's breaking the sound barrier downrange, so you're hearing the crack of that. Um, <clears throat> As far as the CCI supersonic, it went from, I think, like 95 or 92 uh, down to 86 or 87. And then the suppressor drastically reduced the sound of the subsonic from, I think it was 84 down to 65. Um, to be honest, the subsonic round really sounds a lot like a pellet gun. Uh, and, you know, the suppressor's doing its job. The subsonic actually, 
obviously has the advantage when it comes to sound because it's not breaking the sound barrier downrange. Uh, but really happy with uh, the Form 1 can. Um, super quiet. Uh, it's great to use in the woods or great to use just plinking out back without requiring hearing protection. So thanks a lot.